We have seen that all the people that is inside at the moment is being taken care of from, from the scene. We have got only the people that is left on the scene is, is the people that have been deceased. There's a mother that lost a daughter, a son-in-law and three of her sons. The, three, the third little boy is at the moment now being taken to a hospital where he amputated he have an amputated arm and things like that. The devastation is looking like we're in Kosovo or any of the Ukraine or any of those places. It's a war zone, okay. Um, there's body parts lying from three blocks away from, from, from the scene. Um, there's parts of the truck that, that's lying up to five streets up from, from here at the moment and things like that. So there's a lot of devastating, uh, the breach have collapsed underneath the um, there's nothing left of that big truck that got stuck there and it blow to ashes. Our hospital is in devastate at the moment. Triage is completely offline at the moment. Um, the maternity ward, we had to remove all the babies and stuff from maternity because the roof collapsed inside there. Go straight to the hospital. I'm sorry, I'm in pain. But what I want to emphasize is, is, is people stop spectating where there's a big accident scene and things like that because we could have been avoiding this whole thing but people want to go and look what is going on and at that point, critical point, this truck exploded and a lot of people got very much injured.